Hey guys, it's Tech Kim, and I'm going to show you how to get started with Scratch. Obviously, you're going to need to download it, and you can find it at scratch.mit.edu. And just go ahead and click Download Scratch. You can skip this form, continue to download Scratch, and you'll see that Scratch is available for the Mac, Windows, and Ubuntu platforms. Once you have it downloaded, I suggest that you start by clicking Support and do the Scratch cards. There's um, also some video tutorials and other getting started activities, but I think scratch cards are the best way to start. And you'll see that there's a whole set of them, and each one will show you a different programming element. So let's just start with this first one here, change color. And you can see that it's going to show you what's going to happen and what you need to do to make that happen. Um, you're going to be creating something called a sprite. You're going to be using some code, um, the yellow code or control program programming elements and the purple are um, look elements and then you're going to press a spacebar to get your program to run. So let's go ahead and start scratch and try that out. So the first wing we know we need is oops there we go is a new sprite. Um, to delete an existing sprite you can just right click and select delete. You could paint your own sprite but I'm going to choose one from file because there's lots of different ones to choose from. Um, you can see there's some things here, uh, people, but I'm going to go ahead and choose animals, and I'm going to choose one of the butterflies. Now that we have that sprite, we need to add some programming. So remember we needed a control, which was when the space key was clicked. If we happen to drag out another one accidentally, we can just drag it back in there. And then remember we need the purple looks and we're going to change the color effect by 25. Now it doesn't do any good if um, I press the spacebar now because I haven't hooked that code into... There we go. Now that it took, I press the spacebar and it works. And I can modify the effect. Let's try changing it to sin and it should be a more subtle effect. So you've done your first um, scratch card and you continue on to do the rest. Now the other thing I suggest you do is to get a Scratch account, to sign up for an account, because that's going to let you download other people's programs, which is also another great way to learn about programming. I'm going to try out this uh, Spirograph program here. And often you'll have project notes that tell you how the program runs. This one um, is actually telling us that we're going to press N for new color, for a new shape, we're going to press space and C to clear. And almost always you click the flag to start. Press the mouse, spacebar, you can see the shape is changing, and N, you can see the color changes, shape, color, shape, color, shape, color, and then C to clear. So we can actually download that, so I'm going to go to sprite, uh, Scratch, I'm going to open that up, I don't need to save this project, and I need to go find my download directory, and there it is, Spirograph. Now we can take a look at this code and see what's going on. Um, you can see that when the space is pressed, I'm going to do next costume. And every sprite has at least one costume. This one has six costumes. That's where we get the different shapes from. When the flag is clicked, I'm going to do this forever. I'm going to go to mouse pointer, which means that shape is going to follow my mouse. When I click the mouse, it's going to make a stamp. And every time it makes a stamp, it's going to turn 15 degrees. That's how we get the spiral effect. And then uh, when the N is pressed, I'm going to change that color effect. And when the C is pressed, I'm going to clear. So we can actually um, make some modifications here. Let's try making that 10 and this 10 and try it yourself. Clear it. You'll see it's a little bit different. All right. We'll check on soon, and I'm going to show you another tutorial where we're going to take um, another program and try to make uh, some changes to it ourselves. Good luck.